Is it possible to taste the difference between food cooked on a gas barbecue and on a charcoal barbecue? Is one better than the other? And if so, is it enough to compensate for the other drawbacks? Because both gas and charcoal barbecues have their pros and cons. Let's find out. So for this experiment, I'm gonna cook these chicken thighs on gas and a charcoal barbecue before putting them head to head in a taste test. I've given them both an overnight dry brine as well as a little bit of rub to give them that classic barbecue chicken flavor. And for each method, we're gonna cook them exactly the same on indirect heat until they come up to about 74 degrees internal temperature before moving them over to direct heat to give them that final sear to get that nice crispy barbecue chicken skin. I'm gonna get chicken on indirect and then here, I'm going to get it, pop it on there. So while we wait for our chicken to come up to temp, chances are you might have a couple of barbecues in mind that you're considering or choosing between, possibly a Kamado or a kettle, a gas barbecue, pallet smoker. There's so many different styles of barbecue and they all have their pros and cons. If so, I'd encourage you to drop a comment below of what you're considering and what's most important to you and I'll do my best to reply to all comments, share some thoughts and hopefully help you make a decision. I've bought many barbecues in my time and I have no affiliation with any of the barbecue brands. So I'm just happy to help, share some thoughts and hopefully help you on your journey. With that said, let's have a look at how our experiment's going. There we go, 74 degrees, so we'll get that off. All right, so we're up to temperature, so I'm just gonna give that a little glaze just for the final sear. That'll just help get a bit of crispy skin. Move that from indirect heat over to the direct heat, just to give it a final little sear. Just gonna put that a little bit closer down to the coals, just give that and that's on direct heat. Give that maybe about 10 minutes. All right, so our chicken's all done, up to temperature. So we've got chicken from the gas grill and then chicken from charcoal. It's time to taste them, see which one's better. So first up, I'm gonna try the charcoal chicken. That's really good. So we've got a little bit of crispy skin on the charcoal. Not as much on gas. We still got a little bit, but not definitely not as much as I'd like. But um, the charcoal chicken came off nice and crispy, and that tastes awesome. Like it, it's got that smoky taste. We didn't use wood chunks today because it would be a little bit unfair using wood chunks on charcoal and not having wood chunks on the gas. But you can still taste a little bit of that smokiness that does come from the charcoal that you're just not going to compete with on gas. So next up, I'm going to try the chicken from the gas grill. I mean, I wouldn't be unhappy if someone gave me that at a barbecue. So with the chicken that was cooked on gas, I'm definitely getting more of the other flavors, the rub, the glaze, and the chicken itself. What I'm not getting is any smoky flavor. And that's kind of expected because with gas, we're burning hydrocarbon. So the only thing that the burning of the gas is producing is water and carbon dioxide. And so there's no actual smoky flavor, but that's still delicious. That still tastes really good. Um, but if it were me, if I had to pick one or the other, I'd definitely go charcoal, just because I think with charcoal, we're just going to get way more flavor. So good. The other thing I'd say is the heat from the charcoal is a little bit different. It's not as even as gas. And so you get a slightly, it's hard to describe, but the texture and how the chicken cooks is just different. It's not a kind of constant, steady, radiant heat. That just means how the chicken, how it cooks, you kind of have some bits that are hotter than others and it's just, it's just, oh, it just tastes great. So is there a taste difference between gas and charcoal? I'm gonna say yes. The chicken cooked over charcoal definitely tasted better. And there's a smokiness about food cooked over charcoal that you just can't quite replicate with a gas barbecue. But does that mean you should go out and buy a charcoal barbecue? No, not necessarily, because it depends what's important to you and how you're gonna use it. If you just want to cook burgers and sausages and chicken a couple of times a year when the weather's nice for friends and family, a gas barbecue is absolutely fine and frankly going to be more convenient. But if you want to go down the rabbit hole of barbecue and play around with smoking woods and learn temperature management, test big cuts like brisket and ribs and pulled pork, then charcoal is going to be your friend. Charcoal is going to give you so many more options and also help you learn faster because one of the great things about charcoal is that it forces you to learn the most important skill in barbecue, which is temperature management. I've got a few experiments on this topic that you can watch here. And if you enjoyed this experiment, remember to subscribe to the channel to get a weekly experiment like this one where I test something barbecue related to help you level up your barbecue knowledge.